Hey guys, Jamie and Skylar here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Whedon Island Preserve, which is pretty close to downtown St. Petersburg. So we haven't done a whole lot of research on this place. There's some mangrove tunnels that you can paddle or kayak through. So we brought the paddle boards out and we're gonna go find them. Come along with us as we enjoy this beautiful Florida day. We got up early this morning because we are going paddleboarding at Whedon Island. We wanted to get up early to try and beat the heat, but it still is summer in Florida, so it's already pretty hot, but that's okay. Whedon Island is about a 20 minute drive from downtown St. Petersburg. right now and we are gonna follow this path that will take us through the mangroves to a little area that opens up here and probably this one but if you want to spend a whole day here paddling and kayaking you can see it's pretty big the kayak launch area does have access to restrooms right next to it so that is also perk of launching at Whedon. And when you're done having fun for the day, they also have a wash area. So overall it has everything we would want and a place to go paddleboarding and kayaking. here around 8 20 a.m. on a Saturday and already the closest parking spots to the kayak and paddleboard launch area were full so we had to unload our boards and then Skylar had to walk quite a ways to park the car but that's okay we're on the water now and we're heading to the mangroves so out here they do mark a nice paddling path with signs that have two oars that are crossed on them that will help get you through the mangrove tunnels. mangrove tunnel area and it is so peaceful this morning even though we got here early it's already pretty hot and muggy but still enjoyable as long as you've got bug spray in the winter time though I can imagine that it's probably really comfortable out here in the mornings previously we had paddled through mangroves in the Sarasota area which those are really cool too but coming here these tunnels are really wide which is nice we have a bird friend today. That's cool. Typically when we do go into the mangroves, we see a lot of these tiny black crabs. I'll show you one next time I find one. I found a whole bunch on a tree. I don't know if you can see them though. All those little black spots are the crabs. So they are kind of everywhere, you just gotta be looking for them. Oh my gosh, this crab, I was gonna like hit it on my head. He just yeah, hid. Whoa! That crab literally could have jumped on my head. If you ever start to think you might be alone out here, just start looking at the roots of the mangroves. Right now in the mangroves, we are going with the current. So there's a lot of times where we don't even have to paddle. It's more of putting your paddle in the water to make sure you don't hit the mangrove roots. Now when we come out, we do take our paddle boards and we mostly see kayakers in the tunnel and there's a good reason why. The tunnels are very low. So for us, we have to sit down on our boards most of the time to go through the tunnels. So it's just designed better for a kayaker who's already sitting down. And with the paddle boards, we have much longer paddles, so it is kind of awkward sitting down and using these long paddles, whereas the kayakers, they have shorter paddles that are better designed for it as well. I 
even though it's a little more challenging for us, we still really enjoy coming out to these mangrove tunnels. We're coming out of the first tunnel area to a clearing. We've been out here once before, and that time we only made it to this clearing because the bugs were so bad and we didn't have bug spray. So today we're gonna go through the second tunnel area and go at least to the second clearing. Heading into the second tunnel area, which is all new for us. Skyler's telling me that this mangrove tunnel has higher ceilings. Look at him standing. It's nice to be able to take a break from sitting down and actually paddle standing up. There are also hiking trails out on Whedon Island, which we've explored just a little bit. The ones we've been on though, they do not have much shade. And today it's hot, there's no breeze, we are glad to be on the water. In the summertime, we would maybe recommend hiking at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. The trails there do offer a lot of shade. And if you're interested in visiting Boyd Hill, check out the video that we made from our recent visit there too. We'll make sure to put a link in the description below. If you don't have your own kayak or paddleboard, that's okay. There is a rental company out here on the island. We'll make sure to put a link to their information in the description below as well. The sun just went under a gigantic cloud. And even though we're in the shade here in the mangroves, it makes a huge difference in the summertime. It would be all right if the sun stayed under the entire time we were here. We're coming up to the second clearing. I think this one's bigger than the first one. We made it to the second clearing area, which was our goal for today. We don't have that much time because we are gonna be spending some time on the beach with family later today. So this was our second time out to Whedon Island paddling and it was much more enjoyable than the first time because this time we did remember to bring bug spray so we did not get bit up at all. Nope. But yeah, like Jamie said, we have to head back. We can't do the whole loop today unfortunately, but we're definitely going to plan an entire day out here sometime soon where we can try to do the full loop. Definitely. We hope you enjoyed seeing some of the mangroves here on Whedon Island. If you're in the St. Pete area and enjoy nature, we definitely recommend checking it out. If you enjoy hiking, paddling, or visiting beaches, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on. We're starting our trek back through the mangrove tunnels. I'm really excited about that because I'm hungry and we forgot to bring snacks. We did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Normally we bring snacks along, but well, I guess we were rushing this morning, so we better get back before I get hangry. All right, so we got a plan, get food, later coffee. It's a little after 10 now and it is getting a lot busier so getting here early is definitely key. Hello! I'm trying to get over. <laughs> Thankfully the paths are as wide as they are. <laughs> How's it going back there? Excellent. Awesome. Hello! Hi! Hello! actually wider than some. Yeah, that's what we thought too. I know. Like, this is nice. Oh, this way. Got a bird friend. Are you the same bird from earlier? You might be. Yeah, that's your perch. Gonna watch all the kayakers and paddleboarders. See you later. We made it back to the kayak launch area after a nice day out exploring Whedon Island. We'll see you next time.